today is the final leg of this mini road trip series. I'm heading back across the country to where I live, but not without one more night sleeping in the van. Oh no, there's no straw in my drink. How's this gonna work? Do you reckon I can suck it out the hole in the top? Works surprisingly well. Less waste. There are floods everywhere today. What the hell is going on? I'm just pulling into this road. I'm not staying here. But I saw a sign for Stonehenge. So I thought I would pull in and see how close you can get to it on the actual road and what the possibilities are of a future stealth camp here. This is the world's bumpiest road. There's a motorhome parked up here. This could be promising. Look at the state of this ground. Whoa, I can hear the water sloshing about in the sink. I had no idea you could park this close to it. I'll take it we're not allowed to drive anywhere up there, are we? Is this road along here okay to drive all up and down? It just takes you out to the military base. Cheers, mate. Let's get back on with this journey, but stay tuned for a future episode because we will be back. So I've made it to the M25, but I've had enough of driving now. Well, I say that, I was on the M25. I've just pulled off at junction 10, I think it is. All right, so this is the car park that Siri has chosen for us. Let's give it a little circle. This one. Whoa, bumpy as hell everywhere today. Why are there so many cars over there with their lights on? Please don't tell me Siri has brought me to a dogging hotspot. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this place seems a little suspicious to me. Oh great, I accidentally just flashed me lights. They think I wanna get involved. Right, and there's a geezer right here in front of me. He's about to knock. We are out of here. There's a bloke literally like trying to peer into my back window, just blatantly. He sees me sitting here. There's a bloke who is right next to me, turned on his interior light and he was just staring over at me into the van. And I mean right next to me, it was like a foot away from me. And then there's all them cars and that bloke is just wandering about, looking in all the windows, like trying to get in on the action and that. I mean, usually I would just jump in the back, lock the doors and get on with it, but I need the door open for when I cook for ventilation. They're just gonna try and get in the van all night. They're gonna think this is like a... Now they're all following me out, look. I think they think I'm like the dogging king because I've got a camper. And they literally are all following me out. There's one, two, three motors. They're all now coming out. That is dodgy. I think that we should go back to that car park in a couple of hours and see if we can catch some weirdos on camera. Well, I've just pulled in here to get some fuel. But there's some parking spaces down the back. What if we could just sleep here for the night? Oh wait, there's a sign. Nah, that is not a parking sign. This literally looks perfect. We don't want Siri in charge anymore. I think she's got some deep rooted issues. She knew exactly what she was doing. Right, we are in. I've got quite a bit of editing work to do. What is this? Oh, a load of milk. Let's add that to the stash. Every time I go somewhere like Burger King, KFC or whatever, I always pick up some condiments. I've got a little pot going on here. There's loads. In fact, there's too much to fit in now. Look at that. I've just realized I've got no food. I'll pop into the garage and see if they've got anything that I can formulate a toasty with. I can hear a car alarm going off already. I hope this place isn't gonna to be too noisy tonight, especially after last night's palaver with mother nature trying to end me. I'm still so tired after that lack of sleep. I don't even know why I've just got in a van. I need to go to the shop. We're in again. I don't know what this cheese is all about. 
Jarlsberg. I've never heard of it in my life. But it says, perfect in a toasted sandwich. I wonder if the person that invented sandwiches used to be a witch that lived in the sand. I guess that's one of those mysteries that no one will ever know. I didn't realise how hungry I was until I saw that food in the shop. That cheese had better live up to its expectations. I'm ahead of myself today. I've just prepared a second one because I know I'm going to want it. She is smelling good. I've got high hopes for this beauty. Look at it go. The cheese has melted well. Let's give it a go. I've got to stop saying this, but that is the one. I highly recommend this cheese. 10 out of 10. No, that's a lie. 9.4. I'm going to finish this up, but don't worry. We will be going back to visit the dog in hotspot. Playtime is over. It's time to get to work. I've got about 12 more hours, I reckon, of editing to do on this video that I'm working on. You guys would have seen this video already because it would have come out before the one that I'm filming at the moment, if that makes sense. But I do have a deadline on this video. I need to get it done in two days' time, and I've got a lot to do. So I will catch you guys in two or three hours. Right, come on in, guys. Let's go and visit the weirdos. Right, so the plan is I'm not going to use the GoPros to film this time because what I realise is on the back of the GoPro, which is obviously facing the windscreen, it would have had the screen on with me on the screen all lit up. So it would have been well obvious that I was filming last time. So I'm not using the GoPros. I'm going to use this main camera and every other light in here is going to be off. So hopefully they won't be able to see what I'm doing because if they catch me filming, they might not be happy. All right, guys, we are just approaching the car park and it is freezing. Oh, I was just about to say there's not going to be anyone in here because of how cold it is. Turns out I was wrong. No, I think we might have just missed it all. Oh, no, no, we have not. There's not as many cars with the lights on as earlier, but someone's just pulled in and there's one here. This one was here earlier, just sat there like that. There's more coming in. He's just started his engine, is that? A sign? <laughs> Is he communicating with me? Right, I'm gonna rock up over here for a minute. God, there's another one coming in. What is going on with this one here? What are they, are they just having a look to see if anyone... Yeah, he's definitely one. I see it in his eyes. What is going on? There's loads of them. I oh, no, he's pulling right in next to me. He thinks I'm the one. I'm not the one. <laughs> God, oh, this is insane. Look, there's a new one turning up. Is this one next to me the same geezer as earlier? Oh, they're communicating. He's flashing. What is going on? He's just turned his car around, this one next to me. That's that same one. He's circling again. Wow. I think that might have been the last one. Oh, what's that in the bushes? Is that geezer with a long jacket on? I'm not sticking around to find out. <laughs> oh, look, there's a new one coming in. We've got a customer. Oh, there's three of them. <laughs> Maybe this is the time when it livens up. What is going on? Cool, he was fast to get in that spot. Is that like the prime spot? Oh, what, what's this one doing? He's looking in my van. Where are they all going? Shall I circle one more time? Right, we've got this one following me out. I know we haven't. Oh, he's going for circling. Is this one behind me? Is he following me out? Right, it's time to get out of here for good. I don't really know what to say about all that. I mean, that's mental, right? It has given me, though, <laughs> the best idea for a video that I've had. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it will spoil a surprise, but I'm going to go back to that car park. I am going to do something. <laughs> I'm going to do something amazing. Just wait and see. But right now, I'm gonna get ready for bed. Hopefully, I'll get a better night's sleep than last night. Here's a tip for anyone who's going, uh, or wants to go up to Norcap in your vehicle. You can join the convoy, which goes at 11 a.m. You get there around the same time. Good morning, people. That was actually a really good night's sleep. 
It was quiet. I mean, you can hear cars coming and going, but once I'm asleep, I'm asleep. The temperature in here is currently 21 degrees, which is nice and warm. I've had the fan heater on for about half an hour. So all in all, this was a good park up. By the time that I get home today, I would have done 1,200 miles this week. That is quite the road trip. But right now, it is time to say a massive thank you to anybody who has donated to the channel by buying me a brain cell through the link in the description. With the cost of fuel and the lack of work that I can do because I'm putting my time into making these videos, you guys really are making a difference. But talking of fuel, I'm about to get some now and then I'm gonna head home. This is the end of this road trip series, but stay tuned because as always, there will be a lot more content to come.